Let's talk about buffered shorelines. I'm Dr. Edie Witter, CEO and Senior Scientist of the Ocean Research and Conservation Association, where we're using science to try to find real solutions for the Indian River Lagoon. Buffered shorelines are one of those real solutions. I used to be asked, what's the smoking gun? What is the one thing that is contributing most to the pollution in the Indian River Lagoon? And that is stormwater runoff. That carries so many of the pollutants that we're worried about into the lagoon. What we need to do is slow that water down. One way to do it is with buffered shorelines, planting a strip of deep-rooted plants along the seawall so that they can do what nature does well, which is absorb a lot of those nutrients and pollutants before it hits the lagoon. Swales, berms, water gardens, all of these things can slow the water down and allow natural filtration to clean it up and restore our aquifers. If we don't start slowing the water down, it's just going to continue to get worse. It's going to affect tourism dollars, the primary source of income for the state of Florida, and it's turning it into an algae bloom heaven. Visit us at teamorca.org to learn more about minimizing the pollutants entering our waterways.